Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss the SQLite as an application data file format. As we know, it's very common of using files for transfer data between the processes, system, cross-platform, and applications. The most common used data file type for data transfer is text file, binary file, CSV file, XM file, and JSON files. In this short video, we are going to discuss how to use SQLite files as an application data file to transfer data between applications. Talking about SQL, people always thinking about the database. The command used database like Oracle, SQL Server, PostgreSQL, and MySQL. SQLite is different from this database. So what is the SQLite? SQLite is a C language library, and it is a SQL database engine. It's small, fast, and it's used for bundle inside applications. So SQLite file format is a stable, cross-platform, and backward compatible. To use in SQLite, we have to download and install this. So to download, we click this button. There's a different type of files. Since we are going to install onto Linux, so we download this .tar.gz files. Here on the Linux, I have downloaded this SQLite.tar.gz file. First, we have entire so XUF and these files. After entire, we are going to extract this into this directory. So let's check the installation instruction. So to install this SQLite, it's three steps. First step, run the configure, and after that, run the make. This configure, build the make files. This make, compile the program, and make install to install our compiled program. This make install have to be owned by root. So you have to log in at root to run this make install because this step will be copy header file, library file, and uh, API binary file into user local include user local bin and user local live directories. So we don't run this install because we have already installed. Now we are going to check our install. First, we go to the user local include directory, check the header file. We have two header files, sqlite3.h, sqlite3extension.h. Then, then we go to the user local library directory, check our library. So this is the library we copied and installed here. The dependency check of our library is OK. We go to the user local bin directory. We check our API, SQLite 3. So we run this. So our API installed to version 3.36.0. Now let's go to our program directory. We create a two program. We call the SQLite create.cpp. We we'll generate a SQLite file and we create another SQLite read.cpp where we'll read this SQLite DB file and print the table we queried. So the usage we're going to design is SQLite create or two argument. First is the database file name, second is the table inside this database file. For example, we can use SQLite create my test.db and the table called player. We try to create a table and we insert some data into this table. To use this SQLite DB, first we have to include the header file, which is SQLite3.h. And the first step, we have to instantialize the database connection object called SQLite3. So this SQLite 3 where the instantialize the database connection object and then this object will be created by SQLite 3 open and destroyed by SQLite 3 close. The next step we have to use SQLite 3 open to open this project. 
This is the syntax of this SQLite 3 open. Return code is the integer, and the two parameters is the file name, the database handle. So because it returns the integer, and we have an integer called RC equal, and we know the first is the database file name, which is from the command line. And the second is reference point our SQL database connection object. So this return code, now we check it. If a return code is not OK, we just print out the open database error, which is error message. from the error message function, and then we exit from program. So after we open the database, we have to create secure create a table statement. First, we instantialize a string stream object called SS. Clear our SS. And we build our create table statement. This is uh, what we're going to build. We are going to hard coding for create this table. So we and the table name from the argument two. So first column is the ID. Second column is the name. Third column is the gender. And the last column is the join the club date. So now we build our create table statement into our string stream size. After that, we have to execute secure statement. To execute a secure statement, the function called SQLite 3 underscore exec, this function will be executed a string which contains one or multiple secure statement. Let's copy this. So this function return code is integer equal and the first parameter will be the open database. So it's a DB. Specialized. The second one is the secure statement we build into our SS. So SS dot So it's going to use in the const chair pointer data type. And the next is the callback function. And the next is the first parameter into the callback function. And we don't use, we just now. And this is the error message. We just uh, skip callback function right now because the uh, create a table statement don't invoke callback functions. And after that, we have to check return code. We copy this four line. So if this is not, not okay, it means The table statement error, which is the error message. Next step will be build a insert into table statement and then run this insert into SQL. So we centralize string stream called SS and SS clear. And we try to insert field date into this string stream. So we just hard code it, insert it into table with ID, name, gender, level, join date, values, which is one, John Oliver, male, intermediate level, and join this date. The ID two, Mary, female, advanced, this date. In order to check 
our program, we just hard coding to print after we insert it. So we print out what we inserted. Number one, John Oliver. Number two, Mary Andrews. Number three, Tom Pasquale. And this way we print. First. Then last thing, we will be close. So the close function will be the SQLite 3 close. And what we close is database. Now we finish create, it goes to our read program. So our read program will be read from file name and the table name and we print out. We just queried from this database file and these tables. First, we have to instantialize database connection object called DB. Then we open database because we have already write this in other program. So we open data. We try to copy this one, two, three, four, five line. We go to our read program. We just paste here. So this is open database. If database opens OK, and step two will be create Slack SQL statement. We create a string object called SQL and we select star from table name from the command line. So SQL plus and the command line say RG2 closer with the semicolon. So this is our SQL statement which is select star from our table and after that we have to run execute SQL statement function can still copy from other program. One, two, three, four, five. This five line. We copied. We go back to our read program and we paste here. So this one because our secure statement is from the SQL which is a string. This execute function first is a database, SQL statement, callback function, which will fetch the date. And this parameter, if we want to pass this from outside, but we don't use this now, and this error message. So for the SQLite 3 AXEC function, the callback function has a standard format, has four parameters. The first parameter will be the white star, which is uh, using for passing parameter between outside and the inside. So next is the integer, which is used for number of columns of rows. And this is array of a column, which we fetch the field. And the next one is the array, which represents the column names. Our feedback, we have four parameters not used, argc, argv, each column name. This is the field values. So what we do, we instantialize the string stream called SS, and we create a the variable called print title flag. In the beginning, is zero. If this is a zero, we print the column names. Inside this, uh, if we instantialize a string stream called SS call, which means SS column, we make a loop i equals zero to i less the argument c which is the total number of column and the i plus plus so we put our column name into our string stream of column and finish loop we just print string stream of column and then we set up print the title flag which one means the next row we fetch we will not print the column title we only print at the first row we fetch and then we print the field, we still make a loop from zero to argument C, I plus plus. Each loop, we check argument V. If we have some value, we just assign this value to this RST string. Otherwise, we assign the noun to RST string, and we put this RST string to our string stream. Finish the loop, print our string streams, and return our functions. After the executed SQL statement, we have to close database. Then we finish our program. Now we save our program. 
uh, compile our program. So now program will get compiled. So we have created our executable. First we run the create, which is create a file. This program need a db name because of my test.db, which is file name, and the table name, which is a player as a table name. So now we create a table player in this database file and we insert four record into this table. Now we try to use our this program to read. We read from this file and uh, this table. So you can see now we can pass from one program to other program use SQLite data file format. This is another way to transfer data from one program to another program, one system to another system. The SQLite file support a different system. It's also inside this file carry multi tables and easy to fetch split and sorting the data. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.